Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to what kind of amounts to be a part two to a video that I did a while ago about Micro Stutter and Farming Simulator 22. <clears throat> now, many of us have experienced, a lot of us have experienced some sort of stutter in this game. And oftentimes it can be kind of frustrating to resolve and to try to smooth out gameplay. And there's not always a one fix for everyone, but hopefully between the micro stutter video that I did before and this video, it'll just either either help your stuttering issues out and help your gameplay be smoother or just be good education and something to learn and another tool in your tool belt to help with trying to accomplish as smooth a gameplay as possible. Now, a couple things to note before we get started. Uh, one is this is for PC only. Sorry, Mac users and lucky console players. You don't have to deal with this, but for PC only. And it's also for NVIDIA graphics card users primarily. And I say that only because part of this video, I would have to expect applies to AMD graphics card users as well. I can't be certain of it, but my assumption is it must. Also, it's not important whether you have an Intel CPU or an AMD CPU. That's negligible. Doesn't matter which one you have. This is only based on graphics cards and primarily NVIDIA. Now, <clears throat> we've all heard of shader cache at least you probably have heard of shader cache because it oftentimes comes up in situations where either online or we're watching videos on youtube where someone will say you know well giants just patched the game and now the game's going to be stuttery because you need to walk around and drive around in order to build the shader cache back up again well what the heck is shader cache and why do we care why should we care well shader cache I guess to put it in a nutshell is, well, it's a place where your shaders get cached and shaders directly apply to graphics. And the reason why they're cached is because your computer can access these cached shaders much faster than it can build them. So once it builds shaders, it puts them in a cache file so that it can access them very, very quickly. And that's where that stutter oftentimes comes from initially is it's building those shaders. So you can be driving around a map out in, let's just say some, some more or less where there's just fields and it might be fairly smooth. And then you'll drive in an area where there's a few houses and you'll notice your game is much more laggy and that's because there's a lot more shaders that that there that need to be built and cached and it should smooth out over time for sure but what i've noticed is over time um either the shader cache file can either become corrupt or possibly it's just something happens where it's it's still doing its job but i'm still experiencing some slight stutters that I feel like shouldn't be there. And this is the process I go through that seems to help quite a bit. Now, I'm just gonna go through this and you're welcome to pause anytime you need to, of course. There's gonna be a couple of reboots that uh, you're gonna have to do. Uh, so just be aware of that. And as far as from a safety standpoint here, yeah, there's nothing we're gonna be doing that should in any way, shape, or form prevent your PC from booting again. This should also not have any impact on whether the game will ever load again. This is These are very safe things to do. So just be aware that anytime you do touch stuff on your PC, anytime you do delete files, anytime you mess around with anything, there's always a slight risk. But in this situation, the risk is extremely slight. Okay? So the first thing we need to look at is the shader cache file that is Farming Simulator 22 specific. 
In fact, um, in other words, this file is created and used only in Farming Simulator 22. And you're going to find this file most likely in your Documents, My Games, Farming Simulator 22 folder. Okay. And inside that folder, or just you probably know where your mods are located. It's in that same folder. You're going to scroll down and you're going to see a shader cache folder right here. And we're going to go into that folder. Now, chances are, and chances are actually probably pretty good, you might have more than one here. And that's fine. And if you look at the date and timestamp, you'll see that one is one of those are much more recent or just are recent compared to the other ones. The game will create a new shader cache file. It only uses one at a time, so it doesn't need four different shader cache files. It only uses one of these shader cache files at a time. And it creates a new one under certain circumstances. It will create a new one almost every time the game is patched. It's going to create a new shader cache file. Um, it will create a new shader cache file depending on what graphics settings you change inside the game. So in other words, if I were to open up Farming Simulator right now and make some changes to my graphic settings, depending on what settings I change, it may create a brand new shader cache file. I've also seen new shader cache files created. Not as common, but I have seen where a driver update has done it as well. But like I said, that's not very common that it will do it. It's generally going to be from either a patched game or changes that you've made in the graphics settings inside the game. And of course, if you, know, if you uninstall and reinstall the game, I, if you uninstall and reinstall the game, I believe it actually continues to use the same shader cache file that was existing as long as you didn't make any graphics settings changes. Because when you uninstall Farming Simulator, like from Steam, it does not delete most, pretty much everything in this folder is not deleted. It's only deleting the actual game files themselves, if that makes sense. So what we want to do is you want to delete every file, every shader cache file that's underneath this shader cache, that's inside this shader cache folder. So just go ahead and highlight it and bring it to the recycle bin. Hit your delete key, however you want to remove them. Say goodbye. We want an empty shader cache folder. Now, I'm not going to do it because I actually just did this today because Giants released patch 1.9. And I am currently working on building up my shader cache as we speak. Mine right now is at 27.340 uh, meg, 20, just over 27 megs. I've seen these grow. I think I've had some that have been easily over 100 meg. It's just going to depend on how many different maps you play um, is really what's going to contribute to the size of the shader cache and how many different houses and, and tractors and implements and just how many variety of graphics you have on your screen within the game. So once we've deleted all those, that's all we're going to do then for Farming Simulator 22 specific. The next set of files that we're going to wipe are going to be a more universal set of shader cache files. And that's the NVIDIA shader cache files. These files, just so you're aware, may also be used by other games that you play as well. And you might notice some slight lag or stutter in other games but it should be extremely minimal. I've never really seen much of an impact at all, but just be aware that these files are not Farming Simulator 22 specific, okay? 
what you're going to want to do, because these files are in use by your computer and you're not going to be able to delete them all, first thing you're going to need to do is go into your NVIDIA control panel. If you're on Windows 11, just right click on your desktop, go to show more options and click on NVIDIA control panel. If you're on Windows 10, I think you can just right click and I believe the option should be there straight away. Once we're in the NVIDIA control panel, you want to find manage 3D settings. And then on the right hand side, you're going to have a bunch of stuff you can alter, change with, play with, etc. But the only thing that we're particularly interested in is the shader cache size. Mine is set to unlimited. By default, it's normally set to driver default. Okay. And if you look at the drop down, you'll see just a bunch of different options here for how large you can set it to. Personally, I almost always just set it to unlimited <clears throat> just because I have plenty of drive space. I don't really care how much space it uses. I don't believe it uses that much to begin with, but if you play a hundred different games, well, maybe it will get kind of large. So you can either note what yours is set to already, which is probably driver default, or if you've configured it differently, just make a note of it. But what we want to do is we want to, for this purpose, we want to select disabled. We want to disable the NVIDIA driver cache temporarily. And once you've done that, go ahead and click apply. And it might take a few seconds for it to apply that setting. I'm going to click cancel because I don't want to do it right now. I've already been there, done that. And once it's applied, you can go ahead and you can close your NVIDIA control panel. And this is when you're going to have to reboot. So once you've restarted your computer and you're logged back in again, the next thing you want to do is go back into File Explorer. And we want to find the folder where NVIDIA hides its shader cache files. And I say hide because this folder is going to be a hidden folder. And if you're not used to dealing with hidden folders, it can be a little tricky. So I'm going to show you a couple ways around it. If you're in File Explorer, whether it be Windows 11 or Windows 10, Windows 10 looks a little bit different, but they both have the same options available. In Windows 11, we're going to click on this See More or this ellipsis here, and we're going to go to Options. In Windows 10, I think you're just going to see a, maybe it's under the View button. I forget what tab it's under, but we want Folder Options is what we're looking for. And then under the View tab, Windows 10 will look very much identical to this. Under the View tab, you want to find hidden files and folders, and you want to select show hidden files, folders, and drives. All right. Normally it's going to be set to don't show, but we want to show. So we're going to click on show and we're going to click apply and we're going to say, okay. I'm going to go back one here so you can see where I'm, what I'm doing. Another way to get to this folder is in File Explorer, you can just type in percent, not dollar sign, Brad. I think we want percent. Where's my percent? There's my percent. App data, percent, and hit enter. I believe it will take you to roaming. That's one too far. So we want to go back to app data. We want local local low and roaming and what we want is local so you've got your c drive your users folder app data local then once we're there we want to find the folder called nvidia not the nvidia corporation folder but the nvidia folder go ahead and double click on that folder 
And the two folders inside there that we are going to pay attention to is going to be the DX cache and the GL cache. This is the DirectX cache. This is the OpenGL cache. Farming Simulator most likely is not using GL cache. It's probably on your system using DirectX. And it's probably using DirectX cache, but we are going to play it safe and we're going to delete both sets of cache. Go ahead and double click on the DX cache and you're going to see a bunch of folder files in there. Go ahead and do Control A or any way you'd like to select them all. You can also just drag if you prefer or you can click and shift click. It's up to you. Right click and delete. Or if you prefer, just hit the delete key and it'll send it off to the recycle bin. Then the next thing we want to do is go into the GL cache. And you'll probably just have one folder there and just go ahead and delete that folder. There are a few things under this folder, but from what I have seen, not much. But we want to go ahead and just wipe that out. So when all said and done, you should still have your DX cache folder and your GL cache folder, but they should be empty. All right, follow me so far, pretty easy stuff. Then I bet you know and can guess what we're gonna do next. <clears throat> we are gonna go back into our NVIDIA control panel. This is kind of an important step because if you don't do this step, your NVIDIA cache will be disabled still and you probably won't be happy with your gaming performance. Not your personal gaming performance, but your computer's gaming performance. You want to go back into the NVIDIA control panel, and we want to go back into Manage 3D Settings. Go back down to the driver cache, if I can find it, of course. Shader cache size. And go ahead and select the one that was selected before. Probably driver default in most cases. Or if you just want to play it safe and say, you know what, take all the room you need, you can do like I do and just click on limited. Or if there's a specific size you actually prefer, you're more than welcome to do that as well. Once that's done, click apply. I'm going to click cancel because I'm not going to make any changes to mine. And once that's done, you will have to reboot again. And it's important that you do a reboot at this point. Otherwise, shader cache will not be built properly or at all until you do reboot. That's it for the reboots. Thank goodness, right? So let's just recap real quick on what we did here. We went into the NVIDIA control panel. We went down and we found our shader cache size and we disabled it. Disable. We applied it and we rebooted. We went in and we went to app data. We went to app data, local, NVIDIA, DX cache and GL cache, and we wiped out the contents of both of those folders. Now, just as a side note, you'll see some instructions on the internet and possibly, possibly even on YouTube that will talk about there being an NV cache folder that you need to empty out in the NVIDIA Corporation folder. So if we go into the NVIDIA Corporation folder, you can see here, I don't have that NV underscore cache folder. You probably don't either. It's kind of an historic folder. It's not one I have seen for quite a while. Now you may have it because you've got a different graphics card than I do, a different model NVIDIA card than I do. But honestly, I don't think NVIDIA uses it anymore. If for some reason you do have an NV underscore cache folder, in fact, let me create one so you can see what I'm saying, NV underscore cache. If you have this folder, NV underscore cache, you can double click on it and you can also delete the contents inside that folder if you would like. And in fact, it's often suggested you do that if you have this folder. I am guessing you probably don't. And if you don't, don't worry. You don't need to create it. You don't need to do anything. It's unnecessary. Okay. 
I'm just going to delete what I just made because, like I said, it's it's unnecessary. And I don't think it's created anymore. I don't think NVIDIA, NVIDIA creates that folder anymore anyways. So what we've done is we've deleted the farming simulator specific cache, shader cache, and we've deleted the general shader cache that for NVIDIA graphics cards. And between those two, we are starting from scratch now when we launch Farming Simulator 22. And it's specific to 22. As far as the game shader specific goes, if you understand what I'm saying, the NV cache again is not just for farming simulator 22 but it's also for other games that you might play but we are going to delete everything so we can start from a nice clean slate so now that we've done that go ahead and launch steam or whatever platform or if you just have farming simulator installed on its own go ahead and get into the game and launch your map and start playing now, I'm going to tell you, it's going to probably be pretty sluggish and pretty stuttery. Uh, and there's really no way around that. You're just going to have to build up your shader cache again. And the way I do it, personally, is I use <clears throat> um, power tools or I will use easy development controls so I can enable flying and fast walking. And I just fly around the map. I run around the map. It's important that you also drive around the map. Especially inside the cab. Believe it or not, if you drive around the map outside. And like looking at your, from the outside, you know, from third person more or less while you're driving. That's actually not, that is actually using a different shader than inside the cab. So you need to make sure that you're also driving around inside the cab in order to build up these shader files. And I found it, I find it helpful to drive around in the most dense areas of the map I can find. So wherever, maybe there's a downtown area or an area where there's a lot of uh, production sites, facilities, um, and just that'll help build up the shader cache even faster. Since I create content um uh let's play content i actually go out of my way to do this more so than maybe people who don't create content you can just play and it'll smooth out over time for me i like to try and get it as smooth as possible before i record my next video but totally up to you on whether you want to take your own time to drive around and do all that stuff or just start playing and eventually it'll smooth itself out. And I have found personally that this process, even though it's a bit more of a deep clean, it can definitely resolve issues, persistent issues with stuttering and other graphics kind of weirdness that may be happening. So hopefully this will help you all out. Let me know in the comments if this is something you've done in the past and it's helped or didn't help. Let me know if you've got other ideas on what you do. Hopefully this will be something that if you don't necessarily need now, maybe it'll come in handy later as well. But thanks everyone for watching. I really do appreciate it. Leave a like. If you found this helpful, I'd appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel. We do uh, pretty much put a video out every day for some type of gameplay for Farming Simulator. And like I said, feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions about what we cover today. Thanks again, everyone. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.